I was a skinny, scrawny little kid who liked to play with paper and scissors and string. Dolls, I made them clothes, my G.I. Joes and my friend Barbie's Barbies. And as my mother taught me to braid strips of cloth, my father taught me how to darn socks and finger crochet. It had been spring, or maybe it had been summer. I was seven or five. I was small enough not to give an old man a heart attack when being picked up by one. I was wearing my PJs and an old pair of socks. It was late and it was a clear night. I was asleep in my bed when I was lifted out of it. Want to see something? He whispered in my ear with his mustache. What? I'm sure I whined. You'll see, he said. Then he took me out of my bedroom and down the hall to the stairs. Here, walk down. I did, and when we reached the bottom, he asked, Do you want something to drink? Yeah. Milk? Okay. He got me my milk, then opened the door. Warm air blew in. It was summer. It was hot. I had played all day, at night, until nine, then I watched TV, then I went to bed to sleep. I don't remember many dreams except about 
a fire-breathing dragon that was in a cartoon form. It burned up my family and my home. It scared me so much I cried. My sister took me downstairs to make me stop crying. She gave me some Phillips milk to soothe my stomach. And then we watched TV. The Late Show was the creature from the Black Lagoon. It scared me so much I puked. Then I went back to bed. Dreams weren't that bad. He picked me up again and took me out into our old broken down veranda and told me to look up. I did and the sky was clear and you could see tons of stars. Do you see that? He pointed and asked. I saw tons of stars and not much else. Look up there, to your right, what do you see? Stars, don't I? Do you see that big bear? Where? He pointed to the sky. I looked and looked. All I saw were stu- A bear. I see the bear. What else is up there? He pointed some more, and I saw a lot and lots of things, even a red star that flew. No, that's an airplane. We stood there, him holding me, for what seemed to be forever. We'd better get back up to bed. The sun might come up. So off we went. I was leaning on his shoulder, so he carried me up the stairs and put me down at the top. Go to the bathroom, he said. Then he put me to bed and said good night. I don't remember if it really happened or if it was a dream. But my father taught me about the stars and how to crochet with my finger. The end of part two, that is.